Hello, this is the Daily Encouragement Message we've prepared on a beautiful Friday, July 19th, 2024, right here from our home in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. We are, uh, I can't always remember what all I've said. We have the same beginnings each time, but we're Stephen and Brooksine Weber. And we are. We want to make a note right now that uh, just in a few minutes after we read this and post our message, we're heading out to Oklahoma for a family reunion. And we have some information about that on the site today, but do want to point out that we do not expect we'll be podcasting. That takes the extra equipment to take along. Not a whole lot, but just enough extra time and hassle, if you will. We're just going to forego. But we do hope to post several messages, not necessarily daily, depending upon our time and how good the internet is wherever we are. Today's message is titled, Josiah's Example. And there's a little bit of a longer scripture portions today. Ecclesiastes 12, verse 1, and 2 Chronicles 34, 1 through 3. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. Josiah was eight years old when he became king, and he reigned thirty-one years in Jerusalem. He did right in the sight of the Lord, and walked in the ways of his father David, and did not turn aside to the right or to the left. For in the eighth year of his reign, while he was still a youth, he began to seek the God of his father David. Josh Beers is a friend of ours who leads an interesting ministry called One Life Institute, a nine-month gap program for young people coming out of high school that is designed to strengthen their faith before a decision is made regarding college or career. It's for students who want to grow in their faith, experience genuine community, serve others, and travel even, while still learning some college credits. Years ago, Josh made a visit to our home telling us about his ministry. We are heartened by his heart for ministry and for young people. In our ABF class this last Sunday, we learned, uh, heard about two young graduates who will be attending this program. What a joy now as we are senior adults. It was cool to be a senior in high school. I don't know how cool it is to be a senior adult, but that's where we are. (laughs) But it's wonderful at our age to see the generations that follow us taking up his great cause. Today was a post from uh, City Alight. Excuse me, today we post a video from City Alight, and what a blessing to see these young people express their faith musically. The work of Christ's kingdom has gone forth from generation to generation since the birth of the church. It most certainly will continue to do so until the Lord returns. For we can be confident in the truth expressed by our Lord. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. For many, their young years are especially tumultuous to the Christian faith. We've walked that same path in our youth and faced the same temptations and asked the same questions that young people ask today. Some rebel, while others stay relatively steady through those years. Still others come to know Christ following these impressionable years. Currently, though, young people are barraged with temptations in ways my generation was not. And certainly there was plenty of temptation 50 years ago. But consider the cultural slide into immorality over the last 50 years. Josiah lived in a time of tremendous decadence about 2,600 years ago, just prior to God's judgment by the Babylonians. His reform stalled the inevitable judgment of God, but he was the last king to provide godly leadership before the exile. Shortly after his death, the people of Judah were taken captive to Babylon. Consider the youth who grew up in Josiah's generation who were taken captive yet remained faithful to God. That would include Daniel, along with his three faithful friends, and I don't even need to say the names because I know you're familiar yeah, with them. Most of you are. I can give you the first. names of both Hebrews, <laughs> Hebrew and in our uh, English translation, how we know them. Today we solemnly consider how that very well may also be the case for young people today. 
Although we do not know when or how judgment will come, we sure appear to be headed in that direction. Just consider the increasing societal turmoil and rejection of God. Practically daily, the news reports reveal this breakdown. Note the portion of our daily text, this portion. While he, speaking of Josiah, was still a youth, he began to seek the God of his father, David. Josiah, at the impressionable age of 16, made the choice to follow in the ways of the Lord. It's great, isn't it? It warms our hearts to see Amen. spiritual interest in our children and youth, in great part because we know they will avoid the heartache and fallout that comes from living a life of sin and degradation. Now, the reality of life is that we'll deal with plenty of heartache, not of our own making. So we are wise to avoid that which is a result of our own sinful choices or lack of biblical discernment. Young or old like us, let us seek the Lord today. He ever remains a faithful rewarder of those who diligently seek him. Amen. Wonderful scripture. Let's pray. Father, we pray that our young Amen. people like Josiah will do right in your sight and follow in the ways of godly training. We pray for our children, grandchildren, and those within our circle of influence, that they will learn to seek you early in their lives, avoiding the many traps set by the devil, including the current trappings seen in the daily news where people are following false religions, supporting dangerous causes, and contribu contributing, sadly, to the demise of our country, where law and order was once respected and upheld by the majority in our country. Help us not to veer off course, but to stay on the straight and narrow way that leads to eternal life. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. Now, I mentioned a song. It's by a group from Australia called City of Light. And I like their style. I like their music. We sing several of their songs in our church. Don't think we've sung this one. It's titled, My God is All I Need, and followed by, I want to think it's My an God older is song. So My big. God is so big. It's a children's song. so honey. big, actually. Yes, it's a kid's and song. And there are some older people within the singing group. It's a, a format where they just seem to be standing around singing. We like to watch that. And I considered a uh, video many, well, many, oh, five or six years ago. It's before COVID from the church we attend, the Calvary Church Choir and Orchestra. Be thou my vision and be enthroned. You really look for Brooksina, you can see her there, but uh, that was several years ago. And then I do have a link to that One Life Institute we mentioned in the first paragraph, if you're interested. And it is something that seems to be very valuable to those that participate. Well, thank you for joining us today. And again, we don't expect we'll have a podcast ready till uh, a couple weeks from today. Uh, as I mentioned, even though we hope to post some messages, we uh, are not taking, it's, it, you'd have to see a picture, but we have kind of a boom on our desk attached to it with the microphone and uh, screen that supposedly minimizes the popping sounds. And to take that down and put it back up we each We always week, have technical difficulties we, yeah, when we try. Yeah, that's true. We, we just, it's good <laughs> so enough it's if we can just get the uh, ring version <clears> out. <throat> well... Today's message is for Friday, July 19th, 2024. Our website is dailyencouragement.net. And today's title, Josiah's Example. 